Fire is one of mankind's most ferocious and persistent enemies. Each year in the United States alone, it costs more than 10,000 lives and $1 billion in property damage. Consider what it might cost in a nuclear war when enemy bombs could cause dozens of fires in and near your home, even though you lived many miles from the target. Normally, if your house is threatened by fire, your community fire department is on the job. When someone is trapped, the same trained assistance is at hand. In a national emergency, however, trained firefighters may not be available. At best, they will only be able to fight the big blazes. They must save as many lives and as much property as they can. So practice and be prepared to fight fires in your home and your neighborhood. There may be no one else to do it. Your ability to act quickly before the arrival of the fire department might save your home or the life of a loved one. Training, tools, and plenty of practice are the basis for good home fire defense. At least one member of your family should receive training in firefighting so that he can pass his knowledge on to the others. Your family should hold firefighting drills regularly, and each member should have detailed assignments so that all will work as a team. Everyone should understand what starts fires, how they spread, and what can be done to control them. Every fire needs three things in order to burn. It needs fuel to burn, heat to make it burn, and air to keep it burning. Remove any one of these ingredients and you have licked the blaze. Let's demonstrate this with a kitchen match. Watch it when you strike it. The head flares up and sets fire to the match stick, which is the fuel. The oxygen in the air then keeps the match burning. If you drop the lighted match into a bottle and cover the opening, however, the flame soon will smother for lack of oxygen. Or if you dip your lighted match into a glass of water, it will go out still quicker. The water has cooled the fuel so that the flame no longer can make the match burn. Burning liquids such as gasoline or grease are generally smothered, thus removing the supply of oxygen. This is why firemen use foam on oil or gasoline fires, just as you use soda on a grease fire in your own kitchen. Burning salt.